No shoulders rolling. Get those circles a little bit bigger. Swim it backwards. Take it forward. So I mentioned this weekend, we'll pitch it again, but we're doing 90 themed workouts Saturday morning. Should be a lot of fun across your body. I'm taking song requests and putting together my playlist. So if anyone has any favorite 90s music, let me know. Reach up. And arms down here at your side. Drop those shoulders down. Sit up nice and tall. Core in. Belly button into spine. Shoulders down away from your ears. We're going to start with some chin tucks. Pull that chin back. So for those of you who are just joining, please sit up nice and tall. Pelvis. Throw that spine a little longer. And then we go from our chin usually sticking out. We're going to pull it back. Squeezing our, the back of our neck here. Tuck that chin. Chin is parallel and release. So it's going to be parallel or slightly down. Don't tuck your chin up to the sky. Drop those shoulders again. Sit up tall. Pull that chin back. Tuck that chin. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Release. If you want, you can put your hands behind your head to act as like a little pillow. To give yourself some resistance, you can always do these in bed as well. Make sure you're not yanking on your neck, it's just giving some resistance. And keep those chests still. Here we go. Three, two, grow that spine. Exhale, pull that chin back. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Release. Arms drop down to your side. Thumbs up. We're going up in wise out in front of us here. Arm active from shoulders to fingertips. Hands should be about a 45 degree angle out from your shoulders. So we're not going out wide behind us or straight out in front, halfway in between. Up and down here. We're going to slow it down here. Up, 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 pause, and then down for three. Again, reach. Super slow. Pause at the top and slow back down. Get in two more just like that. Last one. Drop those shoulders down. Activate all the way to fingertips. And up. And back down. Backwards arm circle, it's here. Keep it going. Start working those arm circles up. Out to the side. Out in front. Only go as high as it feels good on your shoulders. Release, arms come up. Speed bag here. Get those hands going as fast as you can. You can keep those arms down low if you want. Shoulders release or up as high as you feel good. Shoulders down away from your ears. Keep it going. Last three, two, one. Switch directions. Take it over to one side. A little trunk rotation. Back center. And over to the other side. You have five seconds here. Last two. One. Release. Nice. Grab some bands or weights. We're going to start today with bicep curls. So find your choice. Bands underneath your feet if you've got those. Or 
more dumbbells. You want to get fancy, add the dumbbell to the resistance bands. Here we go. In three, two, one. Bicep curls up, elbows glued to your side. Nice, keep it going. Looking strong, keep those wrists nice and straight. Straight and strong through your whole body. Here we go, last three. Two. One. Release that, we're gonna hinge forward for rows next. So I'm gonna go from the side, so you'll hinge forward, roll straight back, neck in line with your spine. So if you, wherever you're at, bands stay right where they are. We're gonna go back and forth between bicep curls and rows. Two sets. Here we go. Rows. In three, two, one. Squeeze. You might need to look down away from the computer screen so that your neck stays in line with your spine. Fire that belly button up to your back. Squeeze it in here. Shoulder blades back. Shoulder blades drive this motion. Get them to kiss. Hold the next one up there. Hold. Pull it back for three. Squeeze a little bit more. Two. One. Slowly release back down. Sit up tall. We're going back to bicep curls. Here we go. In three. Two. Shoulders down. Glue those elbows. Bicep curls. Looking strong. Breathe. Get in two more. Last one. Nice. Release that. Back to rows. This time for rows, reach a little bit further out in front of you. Change up the angle. Fire up those abs. Three. Two, one, and row. Keep breathing here. Keep it going. You got five more. Then we're holding it up. Into, hold this next one up. Squeeze those shoulder blades a little bit closer together. See if you got a little bit more in you. Hold, two, one, slowly release back down. Take that band out from underneath your feet. It'll go behind your back for our punches. So get that band behind your back. We're gonna punch forward and across. Here we go. Three, two, one. Arms up. Can do it with bands. You can do it without. Nice. Keep it going. Punch as fast and hard as you want. You can slow it down or pump it up. Find your challenge today. Here we go. Fire up those abs, belly button to your spine, sit tall, cross it through. Breathe. In the good trunk rotation. Three, two, one, release. Nice. All right, we got shoulder presses next. We're gonna do single arm ones. So set up your bands underneath one foot or dumbbells. If you are standing and wanna add in an extra challenge, then you'll be in a lunge and press up from your lunge. I think, I think everyone joining today is, oh no, Paul, you're standing. If you wanna, if you want to do this in standing, 
fire up those legs. Here we go. Shoulder overhead presses. For three, two, and one. Try not to lean with it. Stay straight and center. Gotta squeeze those abs a little bit more. We're gonna do two sets. So if it's easier for you to keep the band on one side, last one, then don't switch it here. Stay on the same arm. If not, switch arms. Like I said, we're doing two sets on each side, so you can do them back to back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Press it up. Rip those abs, squeeze them in, keep breathing. One. You are switching. Switch back. Give yourself a little shoulder roll. Shake that out. Here we go. Overhead presses. At elbows out wide and push up. If you want to mix it up a little bit more, you can go straight out in front of you. But let's keep those elbows out wide. Nice. You are standing. Fire up those abs. Stay up tall. Good lunges here. Nice. Either way, no leaning. Keep that core tight. Last one and switch it. Fire it up and here we go. Press it up. Elbows out wide. You might have to adjust the resistance on either arm. Looking strong. Two. One. All right. Shake that out. We have one more round of cardio. So bands back behind your shoulder blades. One more round of punches here. Then we're gonna get in a core set to music. So here we go, sit up nice and tall. Bands back behind, you got one minute here. Three, two, one, punch it forward. on and cross. Three. Forward. Cross. You've got 15 seconds. Forward. Back across. Two forward, two across. Two forward, one, two, two, last three, two, one. Drop those bands, shake it out. If you want to add bands to your workout, next for the song, awesome. If not, don't have to. So the song is going to be, it's called Flower. Makes you happy, right? So otherwise known as Sally Up, Sally Down. So on this one, you guys, we're going to do either legs in and out or crunches for the crunch and I'll call out when we're doing flutter kicks. So wherever you're at, find that balance point, either on the chair or on the mat. Anytime you hear Sally up, 
you're going and sally down you're going up and down in your crunch and then you're going to hold it on your balance point all right y'all ready for this let's have some fun remember to breathe Here we go. I know it's going to be a little bit louder. I got people here too. Here we go. Bring your chest, keeping your shoulder down away from your ears. Can roll out that wrist, roll out those fingers. Open up your arms nice and wide. 
other arm comes across. Roll it out. Arms open up wide, drop those shoulders down. Bring those hands up in front of you, pull those wrists back. Let's end on a set of these. So do one at a time. My hand is pulled back as far as you can. Fingers fully extended. So no slack in fingers. Stretch them as straight as you can. Fingers extend out wide. Shoulders roll down your back. Squeeze them together. Pull them apart. Squeeze. So super active. Working those finger extensors. You can do one arm at a time. You can keep them down a little lower. Hold it here, pull those out, half claws. So my hands are just coming down in like little half claws. And I'm squeezing them back up. Keep breathing. Hold here. Thumbs are gonna just slightly rotate towards your nose and back forward. So from a side view, it's just rotating just a little bit like that. Pause, pinky side out. Little rotations here in the wrist. Pause and center. Flatten your wrists out. Open and close your fingers here. Close those fingers, bring those wrists back up. Make like little puppets. Pull them, fingers in, and then straighten, get three more in. So from the side, I'm in my L's, and I'm just bending and straightening my fingers. Two, one, fingers up, out wide, thumb to pinky. Last round, keep going, breathe. Get two on each finger. Breathe, one, and check it out. There's a reason I call them burners. <laughs> so y'all, it's really important to work your finger extensors too, especially after long days of holding onto things, typing, gripping, everything that we do throughout the day. So finger extensors just help with injury prevention and keep those hands and arms nice and strong. But nice work today. Hands can come together. You can give yourself a little bit of a roll as we finish out class. So anyone have any uh, favorite 90s music to toss out for me?